Good morning, everybody. I hope you all had a, a nice Labor Day weekend. We had a real nice one. We went to my brother's house and and went swimming. Had a barbecue and um, of course we had a thunderstorm and lightning and all that stuff. So we had to take it into the house, but it was it was real nice, real nice and warm, and everyone had a good time, good friends, good family, and good food. So, what I'm doing today on this video, it's a video response to Creative Moments with Dorinda, and she's having a challenge, and um, it's for her birthday, and, let me think, oh, a subby goal. So, she's reached a goal, I believe it's over 300 now, and she thought she would do a challenge, and Dorinda is working on... Um, gypsy books at the moment but first I'm going to show you what I'm sending her every um, happy mail or friend mail that I send out is going to get an ornament and this one is just a small one it's very pretty and I put um, in the background some pink lace very thin pink lace and then I put applique on top of that and some red and white roses and a, a red dangle and some more red roses at the bottom very plain very simple but believe it or not this one took just as long as the big ones to do if not longer but I enjoy making these they come out so pretty so I hope you like this one Dorinda that's just part of the uh, the mail and then I'm going to send you some things for your gypsy book and this one is a bag full of uh, trim and in the gypsy colors and this one is just a rope I'm not going to take everything out of the bag and then this one is also just a rope, but it's a very pretty coppery color. But this one here, you can use it like this. And I believe this is called bullion. I'm not real sure, but I think so. Or you can cut the bottom down, cut it right here, and then untwist it. And you can make a different type of fringe. So this is uh, very heavy, but it's really, really cool. I'm going to be using this on my gypsy book also. So what I did was I made up three kits. One for Dorinda. And then there's another one. I'll post that video. But it's basically everything's the same. And one for me. And that pretty much wipes me out on things I had for gypsies. So let me put this back. And then I got another little bag. This has got some pom-pom trims in black and red. And this one here has got the coin dangles on them. So you're getting one of those. Now the fabrics, you've probably have seen most of them, and I'm going to go really, really quick, is this one. It's got the black and kind of like a coppery color. It's a uh, velvet. I'm going to fold that up. So I've got to stack them. And then this pretty one. This has got some gold in it. Very nice, colorful gypsy colors. And I know you like purple. This one is um, silk. And it's got just a little bit of dangle on it. But you can use the silk to make flowers with. So, two different ways to use this one. And then some black. This one is a part of a skirt. And it's got, um, let's see if I can show this right. It's got uh, some nice velvet to it. And then this piece. And 
and some blue lace some great lace very pretty and to go with the gray flowers and another piece of gray very pretty more black velvet set this aside and then I have some red lace and a little bit of red dangles that's enough to make a page I didn't have very much of that and you all seen this last week the silver gray ruffled and then I have this one the paisley satin and some upholstery very pretty and then some red and more red very pretty and a solid red very light you can make flowers out of that and some more solid red different textures and then this piece all these little pieces come off the ends of scarves so that's why I don't have too much of it and some purple, very nice purple. You can do lots with this, make flowers, anything you want to do with that. And then some more of this purple, very pretty. This has got a netting in it. I don't know if you can see that. So you can see through it, but it has a netting in the back of it. And this one, kind of a dark peach color but this one comes with this one beautiful applique piece is that pretty and then this one is just about my favorite piece of fabric i love this piece so i'm getting low on this and i can't get any more but i'm happy to share and then some more black lace this piece, uh, these next pieces I got from Jeannie Dreamer. Um, to take the back off, all you have to do is wet it, and it'll come right off. But it's a beautiful, shiny piece. And then this piece, same place, Jeannie, embroidered. And then this one, and I love this piece. I didn't have much of this one either, so I got those. You can fussy cut all those appliques or use it as a page. This one went with that. This one, is that pretty? And then this one. This one's a really nice uh, cotton, beautiful piece you can fussy cut that or use it as a page lots here and then the last piece is a um, upholstery nice gold and red so that's my challenge entry to Dorinda Dorinda I'll leave uh, your link below so everybody can come over and check out your challenge it's very easy so thank you everyone for stopping by and i'll see you soon talk to you later don't forget to subscribe right down there thank you bye bye